Section 5.2, the real zeros of a polynomial function. Recall from the previous section that the following statements are equivalent. R is a real zero of a, the polynomial function f. That's the same as saying R is an x-intercept of the graph of f, which is also the same as saying that the x minus R is a factor of f. And finally, that's the same as saying that r is a solution to the equation f of x equals 0. So we can easily find zeros of a polynomial function if it's in factored form. So for example, if we have f of x equals negative 5x times x plus 3 squared times x minus 2, we can find these zeros by setting the function equal to 0. So just by, on inspection, we can see that x would equal 0 negative 3, and 2. But if a polynomial function is not in factored form, or it cannot be easily factored, such as this, such as f of x equals x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 6x squared plus 4x plus 8, so if it's not easily factorable, we need additional methods to find zeros of polynomials such as this. The first one is the remainder theorem. And this says that if f of x is divided by x minus r, the remainder is f of r. So this is basically a way of finding a remainder without dividing. So if you want to make a little note of that, finding a remainder without actually dividing. And I'll show you an example of this shortly. And then from the remainder theorem, then the factor theorem. So if f of c equals 0, so if we plug in a c value and we get 0, then we know that x minus c is a factor. So if the remainder is 0, then that x minus c must be a factor of the polynomial. And then we can say the other way. If x minus c is a factor of f of x, then that remainder, f of c, must equal 0.